channel. Today I have a very exciting video planned and it's actually a collaboration with my YouTube bestie Megan Hickman over from Love Meg. I love, emphasis on love, I love this girl. She is amazing and her channel is even more so amazing girl, if that's a word. We decided to do something a little different. We wanted to sort of hit on a lot of different things and we thought what better way than to do a holiday hacks video so we decided to partner up and give you five holiday hacks a piece so if you're coming over from her channel hello I would love for you to subscribe we're pretty cool over here so if you want to be cool then you should just go ahead and subscribe that's just all there is to it if you're one of my subscribers thanks for coming back we love you here so let's go ahead and jump on into the holiday hacks talk about is going to be free shipping day a lot of people don't know about this but you can actually go to www.freeshippingday.com and there are more than 800 stores that actually take part in free shipping day free shipping day is actually December 16th you will get all of your things before Christmas Eve wherever you order things from they have stores like Target, Belk, um, Toys R Us, Too Faced, and there are so many different things that you can get from these stores and you can get it before Christmas. So if you're a last minute shopper, definitely wait until December 16th and everything you order online will be free shipping. I love it. The second holiday hack we're going to be talking about are cinnamon salt dough ornaments. I was racking my brain trying to think of something completely different and I just happened to see these on Pinterest. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. So what you're going to need to make these cinnamon salt dough ornaments, you're going to need some all-purpose flour. You're also going to need a bowl to mix everything in as well as some salt, hence the cinnamon salt dough. <laughs> And I use these salt, but you can use whatever salt that you have in your kitchen. You're also going to need cinnamon, that's very important. And you're also going to need some parchment paper or wax paper, whatever you have. I use wax paper. This is just to lay down and to keep everything clean. Next up, you're also going to need some water just to pretty much help the dough form. You're also going to need some cookie cutters, whatever size that you want. To make your ornaments you're also going to need a spoon and a straw okay so now it's time to make your ornament dough so first we're going to go in with the flour i decided to go ahead and add all of the dry ingredients first once you have the dry ingredients evenly mixed you're going to go ahead and add your water in Later on, I decided that it was a little bit too, the consistency was too sticky for me. So I decided to go in and add a little bit more flour. And as I was making the dough, I did go and add some flour on my hands and on my working surface, which you will see, just to make it a lot easier to just pat everything out and get nice, even little ornaments. They're really cool to make with kids. They're super kid friendly. They can pretty much do the whole thing themselves. They can actually paint them once they're completely dry. It does take 24 hours to dry them. I think they're absolutely adorable and they make your house smell like cinnamon. So if you love the smell of cinnamon, this is going to be a wonderful idea to recreate with your kids. Holiday hack number three is going to be a DIY really quick centerpiece. If you have a party that you're hosting at your house and a lot of people are going to be coming over, you want it to be super festive and on point. So I thought this one would be really simple and everything pretty much came from the Dollar Tree except for the cranberries. So you're going to need a charger. I decided to go with a gold charger. This one is from the Dollar Tree and two pillar candles. Just to be on the safe side, I like the battery operated candles. They're safe around children, especially if it's going to be in a place where they can actually reach and touch them. Then we're just going to open up our bag of cranberries and just pour it all around the base. I think this is a super quick and easy, beautiful little centerpiece that you can do. You can put it pretty much anywhere in your home. If you don't want to just put it in the center of your table, you can put it anywhere. The options are endless. Next hack I have for you is going to be storing wrapping paper. These little boogers just get away from you so quickly. I mean, I just can't keep a handle on them, especially if you're wrapping presents and you're moving the wrapping paper from one room to another room and you're trying to get everything done. 
it's just everywhere so a little hack that I have for you is to just to use a waste basket just some little trash can I actually took this one from my office it's hardly ever used you can just put everything in there you can actually put any ribbons or tape or scissors or whatever you're using and just transfer it all throughout the house you can actually use this if you just want to store it in once the season's over and you're no longer wrapping any gifts. I just think this is a really good idea, super cheap, and you probably already have one in your home. And the last hack is going to be really cute gift ideas or just party favors for your guests when they're coming over for these holiday celebrations. And these are cute little chocolate spoons. I think these are adorable. My husband was just asking the whole entire time. I was making them. Can I eat this now? Can I? Can I eat this now? Can I? Can I have this chocolate? <laughs> they were so awesome. And the chocolate that I used was to die for. I have no idea what I'm going to use the rest of it for. But hey, it's chocolate. You can use it for something. So what you're going to need for these are some meltable chocolate. I'm actually using the almond bark in the chocolate flavor. You're also going to need some wax paper to lay everything out on. Keep your station nice and neat. Also a glass bowl to microwave your chocolates in. And a spoon to mix everything up in the microwave. And you're also going to need something to prop your spoons up on. And of course you're going to need some spoons to put the chocolate in. There are so many different options as far as these spoons go. You can find some really cute wooden spoons with like some little decorations on them. Some plastic spoons. Whatever you want to use. The odds are endless, you can have fun with it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is lay all your spoons out on some wax paper, and then you're gonna go in to your kitchen and using your microwave, you're gonna put how much ever chocolate you wanna melt into a bowl. And you wanna do this in 30 second increments, because if not, it's going to burn your chocolate and you don't want that. You want nice, smooth, yummy chocolate. So you're gonna do every 30 seconds until it's to the melted consistency that you wanna use and you're gonna come back and just drop it into each spoon. While the chocolate is still hot, you're gonna to wanna to put whatever toppings. You can do caramel, sprinkles, you can do white chocolate on top, peppermint candy, which is what I decided to do on two of them. I think these are awesome. You can put these into your coffee. You can, if you want more of a chocolatier hot chocolate, you can stir your hot chocolate up with these and make it even chocolatier, which is a dream come true. Now that you've seen all five of my holiday hacks, make sure to head on over to Love Meg's channel and check out her five. I know they are the bomb because she is the bomb, so I expect nothing less. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Question of the day. What is your go-to holiday hack to help you get through the season? Comment down below. Help out some people because I know people are super stressed this time of the year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching.